Okay, now let's factor this trinomial completely, starting by factoring out the GCF, the greatest common factor. And the greatest common factor here will be 5y. And 10x squared divided by 5y is 2x squared. 25xy divided by 5y is 5x. And negative 15y divided by 5y is just negative 3. Now we have a trinomial right here that we can actually also factor. And we're going to be looking for two numbers that multiply to whatever 2 and negative 3 multiply to. In this case, negative 6, because 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And two numbers that add up to the middle term, which is 5. Great. So those numbers will be 6 and negative 1, because 6 times negative 1 is negative 6, and 6 plus, one, plus negative 1 is positive 5. So then we can split up the 5x into 6x minus 1x. We have the negative 3. Whoops. Let me just make square brackets just in case here. And the 2x squared comes down. And over here, I can factor by grouping at this point. I can factor out a 2x from these two elements. 2x squared divided by 2x is just x. 6x divided by 2x is just 3. And over here, we have negative 1x minus 3, or just negative x minus 3. They have actually nothing in common. In this case, I'm just going to factor out a negative 1, because this element's negative. So negative x divided by negative 1 is just x. Negative 3 divided by negative 1 is just 3. Here we go. Then, so let's just copy the 5y, open some brackets, and this is a repeated element, right? The x, uh, x plus 3. So we can write that down over here, x plus 3. Maybe square brackets or just round brackets at this point. A parenthesis, another set of parentheses, and then we'll have 2x minus 1. Well, that was a long question. <laughs> Let me just write the final answer down over here in a different color. Uh, we're running out of room though, so we get 5y times x plus 3 times 2x minus 1. And that's it, that's the final answer.